So there, there was the cave entrance that was a door at one point that didn't even look like a door really, and this one looks like a big hole we can walk through, but we can't. I guess we'll be able to see if anything's changed since it's been over a day. Parallax is nice. Seeing the background kind of slide behind giving some depth to the hand-drawn art. Here we don't have much, many conventions in Sweden, so even if I would like to go on to a con, I'd have to travel to the US, Germany, or elsewhere. I know that uh, a few conventions are trying to be in different countries now, like Minecon for Minecraft and does Blizz BlizzCon go to different cities? I don't know. But ours is usually held just here in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. Door. We'll keep going left and down. I guess we could use our bookmarks a little bit more. We get how many? Like 16 of them, 15 or 16. I see you, Cole. Oh, a twofer. PDX con. Let's focus on Paradox. Yeah, the one that um, the one that I've worked for for a long time is uh, primarily anime, Japanese culture, some gaming, but um, and, and I wouldn't say I'm not an anime fan. I like some anime, but I'm not a hardcore anime fan. In fact, I don't I don't keep up with many new ones at all. Um, maybe My Hero Academia is you know I've watched some of that, but um, I was a big fan of a lot of. Stuff that came out of the 80s and 90s, Vampire Hunter D. I haven't watched all of Sailor Moon. Um, but yeah, I like I liked the anime Gundam, Gundam Wing. Anime from the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, Cowboy Bebop. So yeah, so I, I still like to try to preserve a little bit of that um, and help out with conventions. But the main demographic is kids. You know teenagers and they really like all the new stuff I don't really keep up with that very much it's almost time for another generation <laughs> and we do we do have a lot of people come on and uh, volunteer oh okay this door has some sort of label above it this looks like the entrance to a dark and lonely place just the thing I need all right let's go look Okay, so I'm looking kind of over at the map to let me kind of move it here. Isn't it wonderful to get of age? I just told them today that I've got this gray coming in in my beard and it's their fault. <laughs> which way do we want to go here? Let's go. Let's go. Just go into the first door. Three doors. Which one shall I choose? First one's first. I'm just looking for items that might be strewn about in here. Oh, I'm going to put the map up here. There we go. A little bit easier for me to see and, and follow as we go. Where do we come out here, though? Oh, I see. Okay. More coal. Three more doors. Let's go to the right. I 
another ledge. I should have predicted this outcome, but it's not a disappointment. All right, let's turn back around. No dripping water in here. Oh, I should click. All right, left door. There's a hallway we missed, but we can go back up through there, I believe, on our way back out. It's just, heh. Another piece of flint. A blocked door. Three flint. Oh, we didn't use our flint when we made the fire. Like, we used it, but it didn't, like, deplete it. That makes sense. But I wasn't really guaranteed, I wasn't really, um, predicting that. Guarantee. Interesting. On the map, we're kind of jumping around a lot, which I guess is to be expected in this 2D representation of kind of 3D space. Is that another piece of coal right there? I think it might be. Ah, uh -huh, so it is. One of the first door. I also like that we can like tell him to auto walk home and he'll just walk back out of here and we won't have to. <laughs> what a cozy place. I wonder if we had the Matic. Oh no, don't go through the door just yet. I wonder if we could like chip through to another room or something. Anything else that could be picked up here? No. What a cozy place. So we came back out of the three doors. I guess let's go into the second one. <laughs> right? That's how I feel. I have no fear of living in an old folks home when I'm elderly. As long as you give me the internet. I'll be playing like MMOs and laying games all day. At this rate, I might be streaming on Twitch. Fellas, let me tell you about my arthritis. You know when they try to make you take your pills, but you're just not feeling like taking your pills that day? You can relate, right? Oh, wait, wait. Don't enter the door yet. Is there anything over here? No. Enter the door. <laughs> you and me, both. Let's go, let's go left. I feel like we've come through here. Could be wrong. really wrong. Could be really, really wrong.
I wonder if I can do anything with these puddles. It's a path. What do we have here? Only a fool tries to reach the end of eternity. So this is the Hall of Eternity he was talking about earlier? Does it just make time stand still? Achievement unlocked the Halls of Eternity. Don't think I want to walk super far in here. Time seems to be standing still. This is the opposite of what we want. I mean, I kind of wonder if there's anything we can pick up if we just walk for a long time. There's some things that I wouldn't mind doing in the background while I'm uh, playing another game and not on stream or something. <laughs> but I'm not going to put you guys through this. You can't even watch the seconds tick down. Okay, so let's remember this place though. Let's put it down here. Remember the Halls of Eternity. Let's... Let's walk back to there. I guess if you didn't want any time to pass between play, maybe you could come down to the Hall of Eternity and then then quit, and then you'd be at the same time the next time you play if you really wanted to get all all of the time live. I fully intend to allow some time to pass naturally. Albeit, you know, sitting in our chair in our home. But let's say, you know, if I don't play, if I check in right before a stream on Wednesday, so we can check in tomorrow and like four days will have passed. Four or five days, rather. Oh, can you just jump down here? Oh, there he goes. I guess that's not a problem. So five days will have passed, which is kind of neat. And then uh, from Sunday to Wednesday, that's three days. So 15 days will have passed. At least, and that's at our current rate. Ah, oh, it's cold. I don't want to turn around and get it. We're good. <laughs> Are there any games coming out this year that you're excited for? I mentioned it on a couple of other streams, but I am looking forward to Resident Evil 3. I had a lot of fun with Resident Evil 2, so I've already purchased that one. I know I'm already going to want it, so that's a valid pre-purchase in my opinion. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed until October, but that's right near my birthday, so that'll be kind of cool. Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal come out very soon. You know, I know, there are a lot of games that I've heard really good things about and I'm sure I would enjoy that I ha just haven't gotten around to playing yet. I didn't even play the new Doom. I've seen enough of it to know that I would actually probably have a lot of fun. But I just haven't. I still feel like Doom Eternal might be a good place to pick up, though. Might be everything that that one had and more. Okay, 
we're almost back to the main hall. There's another cave that I don't think we've tried just yet that I think we can go towards. Humankind, Wasteland 3, Partisans 1941, Crusader Kings 3, Nebuchadnezzar, Endzone. What is Humankind? That sounds familiar. It's calls. You have to like requeue up your your walk if you stop to pick up coal. Next game from Amplitude. You know what I can do? Because we have plenty of time, I can pull pull it up here and take a look. Oh, it's like a Civ game. Nice, that looks really good. In Amplitude, they made endless stuff, like endless space, endless dungeon of the endless. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? You're going kind of the wrong way. I want to go up here. There's another one that I'm looking forward to, because I do like these games, much like the one that we're playing right now, with um, really unique or nice uh, art and it's called the eternal cylinder i believe big sneeze that one looks really cool i put endless space on my let's look at list i haven't checked it out just yet i think i may even own a copy and i haven't looked at it yet Velasta, crown of the Magister, Magister, Magister. <laughs> Back through the treasure room, we want to go straight and then, no, we want to go through the door and then up, I believe is what I'm seeing. Magister. For a minute there, I thought you were speaking Greek. I think Magistra is like teacher, Ma like magistrate. I guess that's what Magister is too. <laughs> Wonder how big these caves really are. I mean, we got kind of an idea already. Let's go through this first door. I think this is the right way. Then we'll go up from here. Oh, it's broken. Right. I think we may have seen this. Let's see what he says. Jump. Sure. This jump is too exciting for my taste. I better wait for that stalactite to come down first. I guess that could happen in a week. In a week we could go. Okay, so I guess at that other place where we said that we wanted... You know, it's actually just down here. Let's tell him to jump and see if he says no. I hope so. Inkalinati. I mean, I'll take I'll take this chat and I'll take a look at some of those games too because uh, I definitely want content um, some ideas for stuff to stream this year yeah let's go back up over here we have that other option to jump let's see what he says he may give us a clue as to what we need to wait for 
then we could bookmark this area. That way we can use auto walk more often. And then I won't get the extra stories about my arthritis. Keep walking. can hear a bell in the background. Yes, yes, continue forward. No, I need to I need to recenter. Find myself using filler. Silence is better than filler. Conversation is better than silence. We're not going to rush the shade. He's got 398 days to kill. <laughs> but yeah, I've made a, made a big wish list. It's kind of tough as a variety streamer with um, you know a handful of followers that tune in um, in order to get more people to tune in. Um, it's awesome having a small group of people that you can talk to. And so the chat's not flying by like it would be for someone with like a thousand viewers, but, um, you know, we, we definitely want to get more people in and more people in the conversation. And so it's, uh, it's difficult to capture more viewers to get more people like to come check out the stream when you're playing a variety of games as opposed to playing something that's like really popular, but I don't, necessarily like to play something that's really popular day over day over day. I like to tr check out new things. I like to check out weird things. So hopefully I can just gradually build a base of people that also have the same kind of um, opinion as I do. Ooh, excuse me, hiccups. Same kind of opinions as I do. There's moss growing down there. I better wait till there's enough guarantee, enough to guarantee a soft landing. I guess that'll take about two weeks. So a week for the stalactite. About two weeks for this moss. A month to get into the library where that drip is filling up the water. Where else can we go? I guess we could try to go up into the into the caves above. If there's any cool things we could bring back down. That's gotta be where we where we go next. My old channel was more or less focused on whiskey jazz and hardcore shooters like Tarkov, which is fine. I mean, that's awesome. You know, like if it's what you enjoy playing, I actually really like watching um, games like uh, Tarkov, PUBG, um, like Battle Royale games, in my opinion, are super fun to watch. Um, even when the person I'm watching doesn't necessarily win, like it's 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 really fun to watch them like uh, get a clutch victory or you know better luck next time, and especially if it's like a group of people uh, playing together like on a four person squad and you're listening to their conversations that are going on. Like I really like watching those. Not a huge fan of playing them necessarily. Um, oh, we missed a coal right here. There we go. Many good indies out there. But viewers don't give a damn. Yeah, no, I, that's kind of how I feel too. Like I really like indie. Uh, I try to follow as much indie stuff as I can. And I'd be willing to pick up even more indies um, for review purposes. Just kind of want to make a block for that for myself. Right now my Wednesday nights uh, are kind of where I play stuff I want to check out. And my Sunday nights have been uh, dedicated series, which right now has been Factorio. But who knows? See if we want to go up from here. Let's go back up and over.
Yeah, I try to follow both what's coming out on Steam and, um... What is it? Itch.io? Some good stuff. So I tend to check that out in the evenings every day. To get a good idea of uh, some stuff we could check out. Okay, from here, let's go left. Oh, you know what? Let's go up into here and then left. Because this is up. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. This was the staircase that dead ends up above. I want to take a look at Hard Space Shipbreaker. It's like satisfactory. Ooh, okay. Big fan of Factorio, and I've looked into a few others that have a similar vibe. What was in here? This must be down, actually. I'm looking at the map. I can see where that would come down. Red hallway? No, but it is the one that I'm looking at. Connects to a red hallway. Okay. Keep going left. I keep looking at the shade and just imagining the episode of The Simpsons when Mr. Burns was glowing in the dark and sleepwalking <laughs> and he was an alien in the forest. Incoming first person puzzle-ish games called Maquette and Artificial. I'll have to check that out too. Let's go up. Well, actually, before we go up, let's, uh, let's remember this room. So we can go up. There's the mattock on the map. And that's where we saw it too. We just can't get over there until the moss grows. There should lead to the caves beyond the earthen palace. I don't think the king would like it if I ventured out there. Well, let's, you know, let's go up. Find the things that we need. We return and wake him up. No harm, no foul, right? Let's hope. In Wishlist has had 300 plus games. These are some fine stairs. Nowadays I try to keep it tidy whilst I fill my Trello boards with incoming games. That's a good idea to use Trello for that. Um, my Wishlist right now is a lot of stuff that's coming out that I'm trying to keep up with um, the news on them. And there are most of them uh, I probably want to give them a day or two after they come out to actually check the reviews. I'm at least that cautious about it. Some of them look interesting, but with, with some indie games, especially like Steam, Greenlight stuff, or, or early release stuff, you never know. Oh, instrument piece. This is the exit of the palace. I'm allowed to explore other parts of the kingdom, but I should be careful. I'm allowed to explore other parts of the kingdom. Okay. It's called the longing. What do we long for? Is it companionship? Is it because we're lonely? I gather all of them. We have three instrument parts. I think he said we needed four.
two hours. Does it keep... Do I have to worry about it? No. Okay, we can come back here. Let's remember this place, too. Let's put it down here. I'm kind of keeping up with, like, places I know I'm going to go back to at the top, or places I know I'm going to frequent, like crossroads, and points of interest down here. So it's going to take two hours. It's not going to be open until 1915 hours on this day. We can pass some time at the house, at the house, at our home. We could tell him to walk to a random place, but that would just eat up a lot of time. Hey, bud. <laughs> He's getting up. Yeah, let's head back. So now we have time delays on most of the paths that we can go. This one shouldn't shouldn't take too long. Let's just uh, head back home. Climb. So we could climb this side. You know what? Let's, uh, let's climb really quick. Maybe he'll consider that a success since we can't climb anything else. I just want to see what he says. If anything. Also, we can get that coal. Hey, successful climb. Coal. Now let's leave. No, don't go back around. You can hop down. Heading home. But yeah, like I was saying, there are a lot of um, a lot of games lately that have overpromised, and you know, once you're burned on overpromise from a game, it's really tough to um, to trust early access. I like the idea of early access. I want to trust it. So many games have come out in early access and have been good. Um, Prime examples, Minecraft, of course, Factorio, um, Oxygen not included. Lots and lots of games, though. Early access for them is great because they have a dedicated team that wants to make a great game and they just want input from players over time as they're developing that game. Games that come out uh, just want a quick buck and they're half made and they use the excuse of being early access no, and I, I need to be able to determine whether or not it looks like the developer is going to put in more time to make the game great. I don't want to contribute to just a quick buck, you know? And, and you know, in some cases, if they're honest about it and they release a half-made game and they're like, this is how far we got, it's $5, not $40, um, but it's got a really fun gameplay loop and you just, you know do this particular thing in four player multiplayer for fun or something like that like that's that's different that's still in my opinion legitimate because they're forth right you know they're forthcoming about the um the downside of the situation but trying to hide it just to sell a few more it's pick up it's only going to come back to bite you you're going to get those initial sales but you're going to lose so much more when the reviews come in. You're never going to get more sales past that first week. Um, and I guess for some developers, it's just worth that quick sell. But that just seems like a huge waste of time. The cat left his bed and found a shipping envelope on the floor. He's left that now, too. For a moment there, though, I thought he thought I thought he found a better bed. Nothing new on the ground here. That's a big list. 
Game Deck, Ghost Runner, Cloud Punk, Those Who Remain, Weird West, Falconeer, There's No Light, The Last Haven, Black Book, Alaloth, Liberated, Book of Travels, ORX, Cartel Tycoon, Per Aspera, Among Ripples, Shallow Waters, Dark Envoy, Shadow of the Road, Alder's Blood, Realms Beyond. I think three of those might be on my wish list. Alder's Blood. Not a hundred percent sure though, but but I'll have to I'll have to check some of those out. Are those all like future releases? Because there's a great uh, I check out Steam DB every once in a while, and Steam DB that that website will let you see what's on sale, but also will let you see future releases. So I scroll down through that from time to time, but you never know someone might announce something's coming out in two months, and then they have to like insert it in. So it's good to check back on that list every once in a while. Gotta keep an eye out for those coals, man. More or less, some of them have free prologue releases. Yeah, like, um... Stone... Let's see. One sec, I had it over here. We played it the other day on stream. Stone Shard. Stone Shard was, was pretty fun. Still not 100% there. It's an early access. I think I like its potential as long as they keep working on it. Um, that's a fun one. Paraspora might be up. I'll have to check myself uh, as well, see if that might be a cool one I'd be interested in. I don't think we can reread books. If we could, I would reread Moby Dick again. <laughs> but we can at least knock out the two hours. I feel like we should have been able to get that other instrument piece. We walked past it a couple of times and it was in the background. You know what? I will check as well. Raspera. No price yet. Oh. Narrative driven strategy game with the goal of overcoming the challenge of terraforming Mars. That's going on my wish list. This is one that I would want to wait for the reviews on because it does have pretty uh, screenshots and a nice trailer. But I'd want to see it in in action before I bought it. I'm not super picky, but I'm just a little cautious. But it does look fun. I'm going to sneeze again. Excuse me. All right, let's, uh, are we one piece shy still? I will need to find all four parts. Yep. We need that one other part. We don't have any more paper. Our fire is burning lower. We maybe should have stayed in here. Let's sit down for a sec. I like how we're like on the last page because we finished it. It doesn't seem to be letting us reread. Nope. Let's tell him to sit and stare for a moment. He did ask to sit down for a bit. We should go back and look at the book about our thoughts as well to see if we've checked anything off of our list. Yeah, let me, let me, while we're waiting, I'm going to pull up my wish list. 
I'm gonna do the same thing and read through a few. I have 51. Oh, and some of them, some of them have released, but I'm just kind of still on the fence. Let's go in order of. Well, it's if you order things by release date, you do get a correct um, order for the ones that have already come out, but the ones coming out in the future are all in a weird order. Half-Life Alex, I want to check that out, but I haven't streamed anything in VR yet. Transmission, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines 2, The Last Night, Body of Evidence, Artificer, Science of Magic, Arcadian Atlas, Evil Genius 2, because I loved Evil Genius, uh, Cloud Punk, After Party, Neon Abyss, Peraspera now, <laughs> Alder's Blood, Three Minutes to Midnight, Dismantle, Backbone, Black Steel, Observation, Good Company, Trials of Mana, Kerbal Space Program 2, Dwarf Fortress, just because I may give it another shot when it releases on Steam with a graphic pack that's made by the team. I know I could do that already, but we'll see. Space Haven, Virtual Verse, Survivalist, Invisible Strain. Some of these don't look like they're going to be great, but I want to keep an eye on them just in case there's a diamond in the rough. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, The Last Spell, Unreal Sandbox, Everspace 2, Biomass, 13, The Remake, Dead Static Drive, Shelter, spelled with a ZH, Record of Lotus War, Deed Lit in Wonder Labyrinth, uh, Civ Lands, and Dumb Bots. Those are the ones that haven't released yet. All the others have come out uh, that I've just kind of, that I'm just kind of keeping an eye on just in case. Nothing particularly interesting there, though. Many of them are like AAA titles that I'm just like, maybe, maybe in the future. Okay, nothing really happened from staring. And we still need to kill another. Let's see, we want to get down to 1915. So an hour and 32 minutes. Have some more names. Desperados 3, Gates of Hell, 1971 Project Helios, Grey Zone, Iron Harvest, Rising Lords, Project Haven, The Slormancer, The Hand of Merlin, Dark Moon, Industries of Titan, Iron Danger. So all of these lists that you're putting in the chat, I'm going to be able to go back and uh, check them myself and see if I want to put them on, on my wish list. So our fire is getting low here. Let's see if we can stoke it. Fire is almost burned out. I guess we have to wait until it's out. But I guess our flint is reusable in that way. Is there anything over here? No. Use matic. So we can make our room bigger over here. Once we have the matic. For an hour and 30 minutes, we would actually have to set in this room. What is that? I bust out my calculator. My brain doesn't want to work tonight. Um, that's 90 minutes. Divided by five. We'd have to be in here for another 18 minutes, which isn't undoable, but we could go looking for the other piece of the instrument while we have some time too. This font, every time I see an I and a C, I keep reading like, make musk. So if we make music. Yeah, I'm not gonna hang out in here for 18 minutes. Even though it would be an hour and a half out there, we could do more out there. So let's go back out for a bit. 